This is potentially the last episode of this love story cliffhanger. Um, and everything about this story is, uh, is true. We left it uh, low season. Had come, had gone again. And that's a year and a bit that the uh, Tim and Jin had been in the bar. The lease came up, the landlord said they'd give them a one year lease. It was gonna cost them an X amount, I don't know the figure, I never, never got to know the figure. But Tim apparently said yes, give it another go for another year. They were living in their new bungalow that they were renting, him and Jin. They were still arguing, he was drinking a lot, but he coughed up whatever the amount it was for another year's lease. Moving on a few months, um, we're coming up to Songkran. I believe it was 2002. Low season gone, high season come, everything's good again, they're making money, but Tim still has a serious drinking problem. And he's on the whiskey. He's getting angry with some customers. He's tempered a lot shorter. But they were making money, just about. Jin seemed to be very resilient. She didn't seem to care. As long as there was money in her hand every day, whether she was keeping money back for herself, I don't know, never know. Songkran, 2002. And as a lot of you want these stories not so long, too many episodes, so we're jumping forward a bit. In Songkran, especially in places like Patea, water is thrown over people and ice introduced to the water and ice water thrown over people. Along Beach Road, even big, the fire hydrants are hooked up to these big hose pipes and people have hoses and they're spraying the taxis and song tells going past with people all in the back. Those are big jets of water. Morning, one of the mornings of Song Crown. Jim's coming along Beach Road from the Dolphin Roundabout end towards somewhere along between 4 and Soy 6 and Soy 4, um, or even Central Road, somewhere along there. And one of these hydrants is blasted at a song tell and somehow i don't know how tim gets knocked off blown off his bike by this water um luckily just a few scratches but apparently he got up and it must have been lunchtime on his way to the bar he got up and he with his one hand, dragged the bike to the side of the road, left it lay down, kicked the bike, and just walked off and left it. Just totally left it. Threw his um, helmet down, and walked off up to Soy 8 and up the road to his bar, gets to his bar, tells Jin she's there, what's happened, and she's gone running off, probably to retrieve the bike. He has hit the whiskey, the white whiskey, the Thai Lao Cao. 30 minutes, not a long time apparently. Just there for a, a short period of time. Jin hasn't come back with the bike, she's still out. And according to the cashier, uh, Tim's walked off towards Beach, Beach Road End and just walked off. And maybe 30 minutes later, Jin's come back, she's got the bike, she's pushed it all the way back, it's still, and she's parked it as close as she can to the bar and come back in, and Tim's not there. She's uh, tried to ring him, but he was never one for phones, not in Thailand anyway. Uh, no answer. And then she's just carried on at the bar, the bike's parked up, and Tim's wandered off. Now that Lao Kao Thai whiskey is very strong and it I've heard stories where it can just play mind games with you, it can 
totally haze your thoughts and it's just so strong and it's you've got to be very careful drinking it and if you're mixing it with other things you've got to be careful that morning I was in my bar until seven that lunchtime as normal um, in the afternoon everything normal Tim never appeared all afternoon uh, and five about five o'clock five thirty um, gin police turned up at the bar how they tracked I don't know anyway they, they found her whether they'd rung her or something I don't one of the sad things in Thailand in Asia in all over the world um, had happened Tim apparently had gone to a certain hotel on Beach Road got past the reception um, taken a lift up and come back down without a lift ending his life nobody knows to this day what was in his mind what he was going through he'd been arguing with with Jin I'd seen that myself I'd spoke to him he was mixed feelings when he was drinking he was a different person being knocked off his bike with water damaging his bike did that trigger something in his mind did the white Thai whiskey the loud cow trigger something in his mind what made him get up off his chair go down the road go to that place and end his life never know we'll never know it's such a sad sad feeling I didn't find out till late that night when someone came in and said that someone had said that a bar owner from Soy 8 had done this um, and then another person come in and confirmed it I went round Jim wasn't there they closed the, she'd closed the bar she wasn't there it was about three days later that she opened the bar um, and I saw her and she was totally normal she was back to business she just said to me um, it happened it happened don't know why and it was almost she was quite callous it was like he's gone now I must make the business good what happened to his money well it was in America I believe I don't know about any relations I don't know what happened to it uh, the bike disappeared I don't think he had put any money in Thailand so never knew never found out about his money but Jin moved on um, it was having met somebody in the lovely country of Thailand and got to know somebody reasonably bits and pieces of conversations with him and he was a lovely guy and he you know he'd been through some things in his life to for their life to end that way it was hard for me to take um, and in the two year period I was in Thailand several other people passed away and it, it, it's very hard um, his thoughts I have no idea what pushed him what made him take that action but it showed me and and it was this particular incident that really pushed me to stop drinking and to in the bar and to think about getting out of the bar and then I subsequent, subsequently did it was one of the, the catalysts that made me think that's enough enough after seeing this um, but gin carried on as normal as if nothing had happened there is further tale about gin um, but I don't think uh, it serves any purpose to continue on with with her story this story ends very sad very sad Tim such a talented guy had an accident things didn't go right but then he got to his dream of having a bar having a lovely girlfriend and he, he, he when he was customising his bike he seemed so happy um, but yeah very very sad 
ending for him and I'll never forget him and uh, this is one of the things you have to be careful of with going moving across the other side of the world or going on extended holidays with money you're investing if you're going into the industry with bars and things you have to be astute you have to keep off that alcohol I would say but it's so hard to do people constantly buying you drinks it's very tough to say no because you're almost you're almost you're stopping money coming into your business which makes the profit um, and I started to learn to take soft drinks because there was still profit there but Tim rest his soul it's uh, a very sad ending hopefully he had some some good times over those years and uh, whether it's uh, could have ever been different I don't know was it the drink I think it was I think it was the alcohol that pushed him um, and the fact is beloved bike got damaged when he got uh, came off it that just probably tipped him over the edge such a sad sad day I hope you've enjoyed the story it was a hard one to bring to you, um, you know, these stories are, uh, are worth telling I hope um, maybe someone will uh, take something from this story a, a positive from it what's the next story going to be I've got two up my sleeve on my sleeveless shirt got two stories in the pipeline and I'm not sure which one to bring you next let me know your thoughts uh, comments do you want a happy ending love story next do you want an evil woman story there's a few there to come thanks for watching please don't forget subscribe if you haven't thumbs up that'd be great and I'll see you soon Bye for now.